my favorite things this morning. We have a weather question coming from West Zephyr Hills Elementary, our 10 News School of the Week, powered by Duke Energy Florida. My name is Bailey, and I am in second grade, and I go to West Zephyr Hills Elementary School. And my question is, how do they come up with names for hurricanes? Bailey, great question. You ever wonder that at home? You know, how do they name these, these hurricanes? Or maybe they named them after you, right? Here's how it all works. Uh, we have six lists of names, and all of these names will then be recycled every six years. So the names are decided by the World Meteorological Organization. It's not me, it's not Bobby Deskins, it's not our, our weather team here at 10 News. The World Meteorological Organization, and they use these names in a rotation. So every six years, you may notice some of the same names, which means the list that we're using this year, so that includes Arlene, Brett, Cindy, Don, and so on, will be used again in 2023. Now, all of these names are in alphabetical order. So Arlene, Brett, Cindy, Don, Emily, and so on, all the way through the alphabet. Now, we don't use every single letter, like Q, because it'd be hard to come up with all those names for some of those letters. But then they alternate between female, male, and female. Now, here's the thing. If there is a storm, like Irma, or like Maria, or any other storm that might be a little inappropriate, too deadly or costly, then the World Meteorological Organization at the end of the season will decide to retire that name. Bailey, great question. 